Well, my solid state drive arrived today. Um, what it is going to do is it's going to go into my Mac Mini here. And what I'm going to do is take the backup from my time machine, put the drive into that dock, and copy it over. I do have to get a couple tools um, so that I can open up my Mac Mini properly. And uh, then once all that is good, then I will install it and hopefully reap the benefits of a nice, fast, solid state drive. Alright, my order from iFixit came so that I can get my case of the Mac Mini open. A little spudger to help open the case. Two screwdrivers, one's a security Torx. And this tool, which they say isn't quite necessary, but sometimes is, it's the uh, motherboard removal tool so I can get that solid state drive in. Now the solid state drive I've already put into the dock. It's been formatted and Mac OS 10.8.3 has been installed on it using the time machine feature so just time machine if you've not used a Mac takes a copy of in this case the Macintosh hard drive that I use in here is my boot drive and then just make several copies on my external drive and I just copy the most recent one on here it's great for backup um, it's actually awesome it happens automatically so if something happens to your drive you can always rescue now what I'm gonna do is a comparison first we're gonna boot this computer which is a Mac mini mid 2011 with a core i5 processor and 8 gigabytes of RAM and we're gonna see how long it takes to get to the login screen with the standard hard drive just turn it on takes a moment to initialize and do the memory test and here it comes initializing all the buses Okay, unofficially that's 44 seconds. Now, I know this machine's taking longer to get to the login screen because it's actually looking for the hard drive because I had actually booted it off the solid state drive. But, we're going to change everything up here and then, then do a comparison. Alright, everything is ready to install. I just have to all the instructions I've got here because I don't want to mess it up. I generally know how to take apart a computer. I've done it many times, but I don't want to mess up. This thing's less than a year old, so I'd rather not mess it up. That's ready to get the solid state drive in. Got the tools, got the manual. Next time you see it booted, it will have a solid state drive in it. All right. The Mac menu's back together. Solid state drive is in there. Guess. Here's the old one, built to Shiba 500 gig that was original, and here we go. Well, that's a good sign. That's also a good sign. Initializing the buses. This is the first time this solid state drive has ever been used. So it'll be interesting to see. Wow. Um, <laughs> six seconds. Uh, <laughs> okay. It works. 